In this video, I want to show you how to easily add a PayPal payment button or a PayPal add to cart button on your own website. The first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to sign up at PayPal.com with a business account. Once you've created and established a business account with PayPal, you will need to log in. Once you're logged in, you should see a screen similar to this. What you'll want to do is click on Profile and if you have a business account you should have these two you should have these two options available to you you'll want to go to business setup once you go to business setup you'll have two options options A and option B option B is the ability to add HTML buttons to your website yourself so that's the option you want to uh, select you want to click on create payment buttons Once you click on that button, you'll be taken to your Save Button page. And by default, PayPal does create four default buttons as examples. And you can you can view those examples uh, to kind of get an idea of how to create different types of buttons. Um, there's drop-down types, there's buy now, add to cart, subscriptions, and each of them have their own functionality. At this point, I'm going to click on Create New Button uh, so that we can create a new button from scratch. Here, you'll see that you have a lot of options to create the type of button that you want. So here, there's a shopping cart type. There's buy now, uh, donation, gift certificate, uh, subscription, automatic billing, installment plan, and etc. So I'm going to go with the basic uh, buy now. The buy now is nice because when somebody clicks on it, it'll automatically go to PayPal with the appropriate um, costs and they just have to check out the PayPal um, to pay for for that product um, shopping carts the second one I use pretty often and that will basically go to a PayPal cart button that allows the user to see what items have already been added to the cart and it gives the user the ability to go back to your website to add more things to your cart so the buy now button is great for if you only had one item to sell the shopping cart uh, button allows you to it's great for those sites where you're selling multiple products and you want people to add multiple things to your cart and then check out one time and then check out so that they could pay for all the items in their cart um, so we'll do buy now the item name let's say I'm gonna sell some widgets so the item name will be widget item ID I'll say widget is again um, the price is a dollar and here there are a couple of things you can use to uh, customize your button you can add a drop down which is great for if there are different variations to a particular product you could just add it as a um, drop down option great for size if you had like small medium large um, or different colors that would be a good feature to utilize to customize um, drop down options um, for now, I'll, I'll add that in. Um, option one is a dollar. They're all a dollar for me for right now. Um, in terms of shipping, uh, let's say it's a dollar for shipping as well. No taxes. You want? To, I would just keep it as merchant account ID. It's more secure that way. Then there's other things you can configure as well. Um, tracking inventory, profits and loss, customized advanced features. I kind of just ignore those. So I'm going to go ahead and create. Um, or select the create button so it looks like there's an error when I tried to create the button and it says that I have to um, put a price drop down menu name so here I guess I have to give it an option so I'll type in select an option and let's see if I could uh, create a button now perfect now it looks like my button has been created and here's the code snippet that um, that I would have and this is what it would look like so let's go ahead and pop this code into a web page and we can experiment to see what it would look like so here I created a simple HTML page um, I just threw in the code into the HTML I'm gonna go ahead and click on the uh, buy now button and see what happens
And there you go. Um, it was a dollar for shipping, uh, and the option was a dollar. So on PayPal, it's a two dollar, you know, two dollar bill, and the person can then, you know, check out with PayPal or put in their credit cards, and that's essentially how to add a um, buy now button. Now, in terms of the cart, let's demonstrate what the cart would look like. So, let's go back and click on, let's see, go back to edit this button, no. Go back to my save button, and we'll create another button, but this time we're at a cart button. So, as you can see, our widget one now appears, and that's the, the one at the top. But let's uh, create another button. So, create new button here. And this time, we'll select shopping cart. This time we will be sh selling shirts. The item ID, let's give it shirts as well. Or let's give it some sort of like fake skew. So, uh, one, Y, one, two, one, one. The price would be $14.99. In terms of the drop down menu, let's see, we'll do drop down, we'll do size, sizes, we'll do large medium and small all of them the same size we don't discriminate um, let's see let's make it a little bit better size like that okay shipping let's make it let's make it free shipping so we'll keep that empty um, tax we'll keep that empty as well let's see it's add to cart see now it's saying add to cart and said instead of buy now the previous button was buy now now it's add to cart um, and I think we're good on this so let's create the button and then I'm gonna grab this code and then pop it into an HTML page so here is our page with the shopping cart button for PayPal and let's go ahead and add a large shirt to our cart so I'm gonna click on add to cart it'll take me to a temporary shopping cart page and I think within PayPal you can customize the look and feel of this a little bit change the color so it's not a white background I'm not sure about that but you can experiment within PayPal let's uh, now add a medium shirt and as you can see it has our original large shirt and it also has our medium shirt if I click on more, that size is large, and this one is medium. And I'll do two medium, so one large and two medium. And let's go ahead and click on the uh, the checkout button. Um, this one means that you're paying with your PayPal account. The other one is probably just the regular credit card. Um, if you wanted to just pay via credit card, perfect. And essentially, when you I clicked on the PayPal option, so now it takes me to the PayPal. PayPal page for me to log in. Uh, Forty-four dollars and ninety cents is the total, and once I log in, I can pay for the order. So that, in a nutshell, is how to add a payment button or add to cart button. But there's also other options as well, such as donation. But essentially, adding a PayPal payment bot button, uh, getting the code snippet, and then pasting the code snippet into your website so that you can have some sort of e-commerce or donation capabilities. Hopefully you found this uh, video helpful, and until next time.